Hello there everyone and welcome back to Better Than Wolves. I have Kate a short distance behind me, invisible in her boat, and we yeah. are... <laughs> Thank you, Minecraft. Yeah, you should see what you're doing, it's quite hysterical. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And we are at the real southern continent, the closest shore. It's actually, we left right at dawn, and this place is exactly a third of a day away from home. Cool. So a very reasonable boat ride. Mm hmm And so, just like last time, we are going to build ourselves a little outpost here and then push out a uh, roadway from here to the... Uh, um, yes. Yeah. Push out <clears throat> a to roadway. the rest of the little area. Yeah. Uh, actually, it could be quite significant, but we'll find out more about it once we get going on the road. Okay. Um, which, of course, we will do is going to be the primary purpose of today's episode. But we are going to take a few minutes to get this place uh, safe and secure for the future. So, yeah. Give us two shakes and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Chaos, everybody. It's been a crazy, Woo. crazy night. There were squid there was, and arrows. Yeah. Nothing too serious, but certainly it's not a fully safe area out here. <laughs> Understatement. A slight one, yeah. So, um, we got going to have to cut some trees back a little further from home. But nothing too serious. So there's our house. A little... Uh, our little outpost in the land of insanity, apparently. Because that's a lot of stuff. So, I'll just give everybody the quick tour. We have a saw, a functioning cauldron, a furnace, anvil, and a box full of goodies, including some food. And this is our new southern, our real southern base of operations. <laughs> Versus oh. the other one, which is just a random thing. Yeah. We might actually, what that is actually burning? might actually the uh over there okay yeah the burning is the uh, sound of the um the the cauldron so let's no go... the zombie burning never okay. mind it's fine yeah could you cut down we're gonna cut down these two trees that are closest to our home here for uh, hey. safety it'll also give hey. us some resources we'll need so I think we need to head in the same direction where that witch is which we but... okay. Witches are dangerous. So we're going to cut around oh. the coast here. Not right on the coast, but close to it. Man. My aim is terrible right now. Yeah, I'm used to the compound bow, so this is yeah. extra difficult. Oh god, they make such a weird noise now. And they're freaking hard to kill. <laughs> they're they're tough. Actually, I think they they heal themselves. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, you hear that? That was the sound of it drinking a potion. Good. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just leave it there. Oh, hello, big slime. Okay. Yeah, these guys hurt too. And the little ones are just annoying. Okay, so as long as we can get past it, why don't you got the dirt slabs, right? Uh, I haven't made slabs out of them yet. I've just got the earth, but what I can think? make... Should we just go with the plan we're going to go with on the southern continent and just uh, start making markers and get as much ground covered as we can? Uh, sure. Markers and outposts today uh, with cobblestone. Yep. Or dirt and torches and then um, whatever we can find... Uh, so we'll uh, we'll head out this way along the coast. Okay, and point everybody back the other direction. Yes. And I'll get some more dirt as we go, just because. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll just clear some space, but we're gonna go and see what we can find out here, because to be we have to make sure that we clear trees around the marker because it doesn't nobody any good if they can't see them. Yeah, I know. I know, which is one of the reasons why we make sure the markers are visible, or at least I make sure the markers are visible one to the next. So in dense places like swamps, 
You're probably going to need a few extras. Yep. That witch is following us. Yeah, not with any great enthusiasm. Okay. But I, f I figure if we cut along the north coast here, mm -hmm. um, that'll be a good place to start. Because we know that uh, since we're directly south of home, we know that we are going to have to... Uh, that our odds of spawning in this northern part is the... It's the highest. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, good. You're already ahead of me on that particular one. And there's a desert over here. Probably a desert that we've been lost in and never been able to find our way out of. I have no idea how much of this area we actually can potentially spawn in. So we're going to have to be erring on the side of covering a lot of ground here. Yeah. Well, and you'd hate for someone to miss a marker and go off on the wrong direction. And... Yeah, exactly. Well, I apparently am wearing heavy armor. I am not this time. <laughs> Clever. I wasn't too worried. It's not a long ways across. All right, so we'll skirt up across the hills. We just want this to be these markers to be as visible as possible. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so as soon as the sun starts setting, we will uh, establish an outpost. Yep. That's a pretty oh, decent. Uh... Is that it? Oh, hey, that's one of our one of the temples. I'll bet you somebody's got a base there already. Yeah, looks like yeah, could be. Let's go, uh, temples are often a place where people end up. I'll bet you it's an abandoned temple. But the odds of nobody having been here yet are pretty low. Yeah, okay. So let's put a marker up here. <clears throat> but if not, that's the kind of place... I wonder if this is the Temple of Doom. It doesn't look like it. No, it's not. not the, no. The Temple of Doom was in a, uh... Um... It was next to a forest. Yeah, it was. Uh, next to Taiga. It was in the middle edge of a, bo a boundary between a desert and a taiga. And a, and a regular forest. There was like three. Were there? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't actually been there in a long time. I know. So. Well, this does not look familiar to me. Yeah, me neither. Well, let's uh, let's get let's Ooh. get in there and uh, secure it. I don't know if anyone's actually been in here. Yeah, they have. Look over here. Or did you open this already? No, I did not open that one. Yeah, there's a ladder. Okay, cool. So let's just make sure it's safer. Put some food, because that's an obvious landmark, right? Yep. I brought a... Did I keep my chest? Yes, I How... did. Where did you go? I'm downstairs, inside of the temple. How did you get down there? Did you just jump? Down the stairs? You could just go down the stairs on either side of the uh, entrance. I didn't see any stairs. They're right here, Kate. These temples are always the same. Yeah, I know. I was looking for them, but I didn't see them. Yeah. So we will just put a chest with a pile of eggs and a sign that says... Whoa! Whoa! That was close. Did you just catch yourself? I did. We're going to call it Outpost and Boathouse. Outpost Boathouse is what we're going to call that. Hey. There we go. That should get the point across quite nicely. All right. Do we still have time to move on? Um... The sun is in a downward trajectory, but it's not... Yeah, I'd say it's late afternoon. Okay, then let's just continue working our way across. We'll just put a uh, nice big cobble marker on top of this so people actually know that it's uh... a thing. There we are. Nobody's going to miss that. And that also secures the uh, roof. Yes. 
All right, let's see. So there's markers over there. So let's just let's just cut straight across the desert here. Okay. Uh, towards oh god, not another jungle. Jungle. Yep. Not a friendly biome, that's for sure. Looks like somebody died over there. Oh, really? Where? I'm. Um, it's a jungle. Oh. Just oh. saying. Oh, that that kind of died over there. Yeah. See, can we still see it just barely? <clears throat> Although there are floating leaves. Floating leaves? Well, that, yeah, that means somebody harvested some wood from the edge of this jungle. Yeah. Which does not surprise me in the slightest. Nope. So. You should also put a marker on top of that hill. On top of which? Oh, yeah. The, where's... Yeah, I know, just. At some point. Oh, yeah, up there. Yeah, that would be a good spot for one, wouldn't it? Yep. Okay, so we're not going through the jungle. That's no, just... but the sun is setting, so... Yeah. Well, let's get a uh, coastal... Whoa, big hole in the ground. Let's get a base not quite on the coast right here, just a little ways outside of the jungle. Okay. We'll, uh, yeah, maybe right... right... Here? Yeah, sure, right here. Just uh, start digging, digging down. And I will make a secured, uh, no, dig a stairway. Yeah, D okay, dig a stairway. I'm just digging a hole. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's just, it's sand, so I don't trust sand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Just, just do a spiral stairway like that, and I will, uh, When you get yeah, when you get down there, start. We'll just because we need to make it so we can see what's out here. Okay, this will do. Just make a make a floor right here where we're just about to go below. There we are. Okay. It just occurred to me we're going to need something that is spider proof as well. Okay. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. What? Kate, I'm, I'm trying to make it so that we have a way of seeing uh, what's going on outside. I'm just making it so things can't fall directly on my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to raise it uh, one block higher, yep. that's all. You do that. It just got dark, and I'm panicky when it's dark. Okay. Uh, flower I'm like, Ch quick, put something over my head. Flower Child has taught you well, I see. Yes. Or abused you thoroughly. Yep. Heh. <laughs> Okay. Like, there's spiders over there staring at us like we're lunch. Which kind? Oh, just regular spiders. Oh, yeah, no worries. We're almost spider-proof now. This is a pretty elaborate outpost, but that's okay. Okay. Well, this is going to do for now. Excellent. And we're safe for the moment. Whoops. Ah, right, of course. I remember now. Yep. Okay. Okay, so cool. we need to make a chest for people. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I've, oh, I already have a chest. I have... Oh, you're way ahead of me. Okay. Done. Chest and a furnace. You making the furnace? Already done. Hey, do you have any eggs to put in the chest? Yes. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We definitely want to use stairs for this. Because they are proof against those silly little spiders. Okay, eggs, a furnace, 
Uh, some wood. Mm -hmm. Actually, a couple axes would go not go amiss here, which I will make right now. Because and some cobble. Yeah, anything that's hard to produce when you're completely short on everything. And some junk. Yeah. If you really feel like committing suicide. This one will be especially out outfitted. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, we'll wait out the night and see you when the light comes out. Alrighty, guys. It is morning. And we are going to make the mad dash of doom. Watch out. Spiders on you. Spiders on you. Okay. Okay. We're good. Cool. There's so, a hole. There's our hole. That's a hidey hole. Now we can see the next marker from here. So let's just do a quick loop around the... Uh... Which way should we head? I don't really want to head along the coast by that jungle right now. I think that's... No. If we wind up out there, we're just going to have to cry. <sighs> Well, let's go over to that hill on the other side of the desert there. and Yeah, the mountain, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll try and make a couple markers pointing towards the desert temple up there. Yeah. Maybe uh, another marker at the edge of the jungle here somewhere. Oh, getting some sand, are you? Yeah, I'm turning into the sandstone for possible road accents. Ah, lovely. Oh, hey. It'll, it... Make, it more, it'll make it more visible some places. Yeah, we got a taiga biome. Mmm, crazy. Alright, let's see what can we see from here. This is probably an excellent spot for a marker. Because edge of jungle and all that jazz. Mm-hmm. There we are. We want to point that more or less over there. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Cool. Wouldn't it be funny? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this... Th see, this is where Lars spawned. It's this taiga he spawned in when we had that adventure from hell. Where, uh -huh, he, got complete, yeah. where he got completely lost. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually how <clears throat> we found those two temples in the first place, was him finding yeah. his way home from that trip. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put one more here right at the edge of the taiga. Okay. And then let's head up onto that mountain and get a marker up there. And see what we can see. Oh. Oh, it's getting dark. Um, That would be... It's raining. Yes. But we're in a desert, so it doesn't matter. I'm leaning towards uh, spending the rest of the next little while getting this desert fully torched. I'm marked. totally down with that. Because the rain Cause I is, hate rain. The rain is loud and obnoxious. Yep. Oh, so you know you can make sand slabs too, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Gravel is the best slab, though, because uh, gravel is... Um, the speed boost thing. Yeah, it has the road-building characteristic. Yeah, I was going to turn them into sandstone, is what I was doing. All right. Turning so... the sand into sandstone and the sandstone into sandstone bricks. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, so I'll put one here on this edge of the mountain. I want to make a couple of markers that are really visible from the uh, taiga biome. Yeah. So you I'm... know, one right up on the top here gets yeah. so many places. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get a couple of those going and we'll be... Okay, I'll do one just on this other side. Yeah, sounds good, because we want them to be nice and visible. And hopefully people can tell what direction they're pointing from up there. They would if my stupid thing would work. Okay. Let's see. So what can we see down there? I can see a couple markers down there in the desert, which is good. Uh, we want to get them going not directly north, but slightly diagonal. Hey. Okay. The uh, so right here. Yeah, just right there. The reason is because that points them almost directly at the temple, actually. Okay, hey, there's a nice... Oh, yeah, that's right, of course. All right, I'm going to get one on top of this last hillock here so that because the... that'll make it really obvious from the taiga where you need to go. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, I'm gonna head down here and do one just on the other side of this um, flat space. Okay. Now, should that go at a diagonal too, or straight to the temple? Um, if the temple is, I think, if the temple's where I think it is, straight would be good. Okay. Yeah. You straight. should be almost due south of it now. I'm actually gonna go up on the top of this itty bitty hill up here. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. No, when I was doing the main continent, my theory was as much up as possible. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, more markers for. Because when you're coming out of places like forests and stuff, markers on mountaintops and up on top of uh, high points, especially with torches on them, are really useful. Yes. Now, of course, the taiga is going to be a problem because it's going to be almost impossible to see anything in there. That's where roads are going to be really important. Oh, here comes the rain. Lovely. Oh, hello. That is a heck of a canyon. That's really cool. Of course, that means we're going to have to go down and around instead, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, thunder... Oh, crap. Thunderstorm. Well, the marker you're standing on right now is probably a great spot for a little hidey hole, then. Yep. Because mobs are going to start spawning in a few moments here. Okay. So let's just... So we'll just dig into the side here? Uh, down at Desert's Edge. Let's okay. do it down here. Yep, there's an Enderman. Right here. You go ahead and start digging. I'm just going to make it visible. Okay, there we go. Oh, and there's the first burst. All right, well, we need more cobble anyway. Yep, time to resource up. I think it's three tall because I'm getting claustrophobic. Okay. There we go. And a torch. Now we just need to make sure we can see clearly in a few directions here for morning. We'll just do slab based observation windows there. <laughs> oh, and I think, oh, oh, watch it, watch it. I've got an angry Enderman coming. One of us looked at Enderman. I think it wasn't me. I was looking at a box. Oh, or 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 it could have been the uh, rain. The rain. One of them must have teleported into the rain. Lovely. So there's our entrance right there, complete with a dirt door so that we can actually get through it, and then a little bit more marking up here. Okay. Excellent. All right, now we have a nice little secure base. And I guess we're just going to be chilling until we get... Um, daylight. Daylight. Have you uh, made a furnace? Which will probably be just before the sun sets. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so it might be a while before we're back, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Be back in a bit. Alrighty, guys. The sun is rising, and today will be the last day of this round of adventure. Because um, we'll be pushing up over a little over half an hour shortly. So we're going to go uh, back to that jungle. Um, as I told Kate before, during our break, I figure having some markers along the edge of the jungle indicating which way you need to go when you get out of the jungle would be very, very useful. What do you think, Kate? Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. It's a good way to say you're on your own, but if you can find your way out, go that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and have some food. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Some So some markers and some 
and an outpost a little further out or something. Yeah. We might even be able to build a spare one off of camera uh, on our way back to the uh, boathouse because we're starting to run low on materials. I know I'm uh, running low on torches. Yeah, I've only got a couple left. Yeah. And we're out of running low on eggs. Although I've got a stack or two of sandwiches. Oh yeah, well, I could leave those here too. I mean, there's no reason why. The only reason we use eggs is because we have so many of the fool things. <laughs> yeah. And they're fast and cheap. Yeah, fast and cheap, and we just need something out here that people can use. To not to... starve to death. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so we'll go along the other side of this river from the jungle, because okay. who wants to be on the this same river? S yeah, and who wants to be on the same side of the river as a jungle? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking yes. of which... Speaking of the stupid little bloody bastards. Okay, well, I'm not starved. I'm not poisoned anymore, at least. Well, but... that's good. All right, we'll put a marker okay. right here. All right. Okay. And then... I'm going to chop down a couple of these trees and put one up on this corner up here um it won't actually be that vis visible oh, i guess if you cut down the trees it will be that's what i'm saying yeah it's a good spot you can see it from a lot of the jungle you just need to clear some trees yeah just cut them down chop them all mm. down oh and the why those things sure cut down your hunger fast though don't they oh uh, yeah those stupid things i'm just going to build a little marker on the coast shoreline down here just uh hey. Just a, hey, here we are, marker. Mm hmm You have found civilization marker. And then, of course, you'll have the big marker up on the hill there. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, spiders. <clears throat> Stupid baby mm -hmm. spiders. Cut down more trees. And I will put a marker right here at the edge of the uh, river again. Okay, excellent. All right. I mean, it'd be nice if these were visible from the taiga as well, but we're only going to worry about that a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'm going to go up a little bit and make it a nice tall one. Nope. i got to remember this, that I can't swim geared as I am right now. <laughs> yes, that was bad. Okay, yeah, I'm just working my way out along the river further. There's a bend in it, so I'm going to put a marker pointing diagonally across the bend in the river towards where okay. you are. Which should be very helpful. Hey, Birchwood! Cool. Okay, so I'll put one right here. And that right there. And boom. More lights. Oh, and that's the edge of the jungle again. And the edge of a forest. We're actually out of the snow area. Oh, okay, cool. I'll just rip another tree out of the way here. So that I can see that. So I'm just going to continue along the edge of the jungle at the forest here now. Hey. And just make a couple more markers. Oh, I think we're through to the other side, actually. Nice. I seem to have missed a spot on the tree. That's annoying. Huh. Don't you hate that? I do. there and yeah I think we've found oh no it's a uh, a large bay with a uh, forest jungle divide on the other side so oh this is a bad no wonder we've had some problems with jungles this is a nasty one we're gonna have to build a bridge across this lake later because it's the only way because <clears throat> otherwise you're gonna have to walk through a jungle to get out of it 
and that would just suck immensely. Yeah. Okay, I'm going a little all out on this totem. Okay. I figure I'm I'm going to make it good and tall. Okay. Um, so that you can see it from the taiga. Sounds good. I will come back and sh we'll look at that before we call it a night here, because I have a sneaking hunch it's going to be pretty fun to see. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea how much further out we've been. You know, I haven't actually seen any signs of people yet, have you? Other than no. that temple being raided? No. Um, I can't say that I have. Mm -hmm. Although, if that's the... Well, considering we don't know how far out we go, it's better to err on the side of caution here, but... Yeah. I think we're getting pretty close to the range limit on it. At least I hope we are. I doubt it, though. I think, I think we're still short, honestly. And, you know, to be honest, I haven't looked probably as hard as I should have for signs of habitation. I mean, we found that, um... Ow! Did you just fall off a cliff? Uh, no, I dug out the block under my feet, apparently. Ah. Words of wisdom. Don't do that. <laughs> well, as long as you're alive, I will, uh... will be content. I guess I'm going to have to start working my way back to you in a minute here, because the daylight's burning out. Yep. Okay, so I made it tall, and I did put a directional marker on it about halfway down, but mm -hmm. mostly it's a, hey, come here kind of thing. Well, I was kind of thinking... You can, you can see it um, if you get up at all in the taiga. Okay, well, I was thinking that we would uh, build an outpost under it, if it's that obvious. Yeah, yeah, you betcha. We'll carve a little hidey hole for the night. <clears throat> I have my whole five torches left right now. And we're losing... Yeah, no. F from the top of it, you can see most of the, f the forest, into the forest and the jungle. Okay. Like, above most of the trees, so... Yeah. Well, we're losing the light, so... Well, we're going to lose the light soon, so I think we'll carve out our last hidey hole right here under this hill. Okay. Yeah, right... Right here should be good. And, uh... <clears throat> that should be it for today. Crazy town, huh? Yep. Well, appreciate everyone watching. It's always good. Hope you enjoyed. Even if we didn't die horribly. Yeah, well, <laughs> dying horribly gets old, I think. Well. Oh. I know I died while I while we were trying to um. Get set up. That's get right. geared up for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I was enchanting my gear in our library, and apparently the zombie pigman who's been wandering around calmly and politely for the last little while attacked me for no good reason. Yeah. It was not cool. It happens. I may go kill him and get my stuff back. Well, he was wearing all of your armor, so that exactly. was an obvious thing. Okay. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. And It was good to play with you again. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>